nice or unnice, okay? You could have just said mean. I mean, <laughs> the man can't speak. Hey, we got a story, fandom? Hmm? We're connected at the ear. We are. So, uh, this I is like a... how you're, like, moving very stiffly, though. You're like... Well, I also, <laughs> like, have no... Like... I'm, like, squished between you two. What are you talking about? You're not squished. <laughs> anyway, um, we are here for a, a test, I guess. Um, a test. We're trying to figure out a new way to record when Clara is asleep for stuff that we don't want her watching. Um, I think I've got it. So if you're watching this, that means the test worked. If you're not watching this, then you're not watching this because the test didn't work and you won't know. That works, right? Yeah. That makes sense? Sure. Um, we can only get two headpieces hooked into the, the computer. So they're sharing one. Mine is not conducive yeah. to sharing. Um, we don't like the way those headphones are, anyways. Those are the things. Yeah, me neither. I hate those kind of headphones. Fuck you guys! I wear these all the time. Anyway, so this They're video, terrible. I was like, on Twitter. How does it stay in your ear? Like, it's just like a penis that you've shoved in your ear. It looks like a tiny penis. Look at it. Look at it. It is not. Okay, we're getting, we're getting off topic. Look okay, it. it's it, not a tiny penis. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna need you to show that to the camera. It looks like a tiny penis. I can see it against my nose. I'm so pale. My point is. Mine looks like an actual headphone. But that have, but that headphone is like it just like sticks. In your ears. Yeah, you're just like shoving my ear. No. Don't anyway. Violate his ear. That's weird. Anyway. <laughs> So I saw this video earlier on Twitter, mm -hmm. and I immediately started laughing, and I was like, oh man, I really want to see, uh, show this to Julius and Brandy. And usually that means that I think it'll be good. So, this is a video. I guess this guy made a bunch of these videos. I haven't watched any other videos. So we're going to go ahead and see if we like it. It's, uh, I guess Randy he makes fun of it. Song parody. Yes. You know what? We'll just go ahead and pop open the source window. <laughs> and go ahead and do this. Haven't I heard that name before, though? Deplorable Troll. I don't know. Sounds a lot like... Uh... Something Soul, I'm sure. Let's, let's, just, let's just watch. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. We are back with... This one. Lady. You know I hate to kick you when you're down, but that's our thing. That's what we do, right? So here's the latest. Uh, your campaign kickoff rally in Oklahoma was a bomb. Miss Coronavirus is living her life thanks to your gross negligence. Your treasonous love affair with Putin has been exposed once again. And your makeup looks like shit. <laughs> oh, also, uh, Joe Biden is still beating you in the polls. It's so crazy what's happening. Here's a guy who doesn't talk. Nobody hears him. Whenever he does talk, he can't put two sentences together. I don't want to be nice or unnice, okay? He could have just said mean. I mean, <laughs> the man can't speak. I feel like it would have been easier to just say mean. And he's going to be your president because some people don't love me, maybe. You said it, not me. And then they'll say such horrible things. I mean, on the campaign, they'll say such horrible things about me. It's a very unfair business. The last four years with you have been a nightmare. <laughs> they weren't kidding when they called you, well, unfit. And this final awful year has made it crystal clear that you've really let the country go to sh And many other things. The level of dishonesty in the media is, <laughs> I think they're the most dishonest people I've ever dealt with. No, not everybody. You have honest, you're an honest journalist. You're a great journalist. You know, it's <laughs> so unfair. Your tiny Tulsa turnout was a turkey. <laughs> your latest Twitter tirades may suggest that you're starting to surmise your base is getting wise and I'm really quite concerned that you're depressed. You loser, poor deplorable troll. How hard you try. 
Crushing panic and unrest aside to jest about unfounded phony fodder. What a guy. Poor deplorable trolls, your fans, your crew. They come flocking by the tens to watch you demonstrate how well you hold your water. Good for you. The thought of losing makes him squirm. He vowed to win a second term when the devil made him sacrifice his soul. So he fights like he's a champ, but he could not defeat a ramp. He's going to be a president, but some people don't love me, maybe. What a poor, deplorable troll. Don't forget, before the China plague came in, and it's a China plague. Oh. I love that one. Before that came in, we had the best job numbers we've ever had. If we didn't do tests, we'd look great. So I said to my people, slow the testing down. The president says, cut out all that testing. We'd look great. A notion health officials find bizarre. It's quite bizarre. But see, he's terribly annoyed by all the dead and unemployed because he only cares about his own PR. Girl, please. Who doesn't give a crap about decorum? <laughs> True presidents are noble, not obscene. Dumb son of a He's so afraid that he might flunk, he just hides out inside his bunker working out his tired, hacky old routine. Cause you're a poor, deplorable troll. No friends, no chums. And I couldn't help but notice all your rallies and events are like your sex life. No one comes. You poor, deplorable troll. It's sad. But true. Come flu. All your wacky racist rants have every pundit pro and poll saying you'll lose your election like you've lost your self control. Kellyanne and Kaylee girls come quick. The boss is in a hole. You believe it? This poor, deplorable troll. It's a very unfair business. Girl, don't make me do the reprise. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. <sighs> I mean, you knew we'd laugh because let's be honest, anything making fun of Trump is a hit with us. Yeah. <laughs> if uh, you can't tell, if you couldn't tell from the fact that we're a family reaction that's primarily made up of uh, minorities, we're liberal in this family. <laughs> so we're not we're not Trump fans. We try and keep. We've been trying to keep politics down. But I may have gone off on Twitter a couple of times. Oh, if they were, like, anywhere near my personal pages, they'd know. I don't. <laughs> I well, don't they're not. Away. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. So, um, but yeah, so we're I mean, definitely... Yeah, they don't know anything about us personally, but if they did, let's be honest, I would not keep my trap shut <laughs> if I ran the Twitter <laughs> <laughs> or any of our pages. So, yeah, we're not... We're not Trump supporter. So if we just lost a subscription, I'm sorry. But I'm assuming if you're a Trump supporter, you probably wouldn't want to be subscribed to us anyhow. Because, you know, we have four humans and a dog. But four humans of the reaction team, and uh, three of them are Mexican. I'm not. I'm Irish, if that helps. People hate the Irish. I mean, not as much, but... Irish need not apply? Oh, we can take this off. <laughs> We're still like attached at the ear. So yeah, anyway. But that's not as much of a thing anymore. I know, it's really not. I mean, no, but that I'm, was I'm a big thing back oh, then. Yeah, like years I, ago. But, but that's the point I'm trying to make here is still, I mean, that's as pathetic oh. as it gets. I, I, I'm Irish. Yeah, you don't get yelled at in grocery stores. No, I don't know. I, I use, I use, uh, I skate through life on white privilege sometimes. I'm not going to deny it. Yeah, like that festival with the lights. <laughs> you know what? You were the one complaining about waiting in line for three hours, okay? I'm just the one who walked around the line leading you guys in a black shirt. And nobody questioned me, okay? Because I was white. Okay, well, she's gonna wait until the end of the video to do that, but what's. Huh? <laughs> you just stuck that the video so you had on the shelf. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm mean, just leaving them on the floor. So, yeah, I saw that and I was like, oh yeah, Man, I want to show them this. Especially because it was the parody of uh, Poor Unfortunate Souls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know me and Disney. And I'm also hating Trump, so it's good. 
<laughs> I guess he's made more videos. I haven't watched any of them. I don't know. Maybe you've watched them. That's why you know them. Oh, no. No. But, yeah. That was funny. Uh, anyway. So, you guys, you guys both liked it. You both laughed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like I can't be as animated because we're trying not to wake up Clara. So yeah. So, we apologize for that. But, uh, mm-hmm. but, yeah. But this is the best we got because as soon as he made the joke about... Um, your sex life and no one comes. I'm like, I don't want to explain that to Clara. I don't want to explain that to her. It's like, we've kind of danced around the subject of sex a little bit because she's seven. She's not ready for that information yet. But, yeah, I didn't want to ask that question. I was like, no. Mm-mm. I don't think she would have asked. And I also don't think it was that bad. I think she probably could have watched it. Yeah, she probably could have. She would just yeah. focused on the music, you know how she is. Mm-hmm. I was excited to play it safe. Mm-hmm. Plus, like I said, it was a way to test out the audio capture on the window without using the microphone to yeah. capture the audio. So now, basically, you have to watch Camp Camp and get caught up to where we are, which is, I don't know where we are. So. We're on episode four, I think. Or number five. We'll look it up. Mm-hmm. You can check. So you're only like a couple episodes in? Yeah. Yeah, because then the quarantine hit. Mm. More like three or four episodes in or something. I don't know. Yeah. Basically, watch those. Don't watch the ones we haven't seen, and then we can all watch them for reactions. Yep. And it'll be easier to edit because I won't worry about subtitles. Except okay. for me, maybe. Sometimes I don't speak very well. Sometimes. I don't know, right? I just did Alex look there. He does the putting of the words into sense of sentences things very well. <laughs> had some trouble there with that joke, huh? Sure. <laughs> anyway, if you like our content, um, I can't promise we'll have many more of these videos. Maybe we will. This is popular. I don't think it will be, but who knows? Um, what are you doing? <laughs> if you like our content, like, comment, oh, subscribe. I told someone the poop cookie story the other day. We gotta stop bringing this up on camera if we're not to tell people the poop cookie story. You're the one who never put it out there. We haven't had time to film it yet. Well, that's not my fault. But yeah, I told the poop cookies and the pooping on the bed. Anyway. Oh, um, yeah. Carmi, remember? Yeah. yeah. If you like she her. She thought it was funny. Mm-hmm. If you like her. I really thought it was funny. It was if you I like don't really have to explain it because it really made sense to her. If it yeah, she agreed. <laughs> You're a dinosaur. <laughs> Go ahead and roar. <laughs> Stomp like Poop the dinosaurs. Bum, 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 bum. Here come the dinosaurs. What do you think of that? If you like our content, like, comment, and she subscribe. She said poop books. <laughs> <laughs> I just like randomly said poop. I didn't even have any reason. I didn't even try to cover it up with the If you like our rain of tangents, like, poop. If you like our rain of tangents, you've poop. come to the right place. Poop. Poop. Duty. Um, yeah. Dookie. <laughs> poo. We're not drunk, I promise. Anyway. Poo. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Poop. 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 <laughs>